this is Hook by Happenstance. I'm Kendra and it is time for chapter 17 of Yarn Tales. Yarn Tales is an ongoing series here at Hook by Happenstance where I read books, I tell you a bit about them, and then I take some silly Kendra rules and I apply them to my star rating for the book and add a segment to my reading shawl, which is a... Uh, a tangible book log of sorts where I am keeping track of all of the books that I read this year. It has actually become so large that it's become two shawls instead of just one and we'll see where we end up because the book we are talking about today I finished at the very beginning of March and here we are much later. So today's book is The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. I listened to it via audiobook through Libby which is the app that goes along with Overdrive, which I get through my local library. I listen to it on my phone, and I listen to it in a couple of sittings. I listened to it one afternoon while everybody was out doing something and I was crocheting, and then I listened to it again one night when I was sewing. Now, I really, really recommend the audiobook for this because it was read by the author, firstly, and secondly, The Poet X is about a young girl her kind of struggles growing up and growing into herself as a slam poet, which meant that the pacing and stuff of how the words are written is super important. And so the delivery of the different poems is, I think, best experienced through uh, the uh, author themselves and the poet in this case, actually, um, telling you the story, how she thinks it should be told, which I really enjoyed. I gave this book five stars. This book was really good. When I wrote down notes after I finished it, the things I said about it is this book is a lot honest and brutal, which it is. This book is a lot. Like, I don't even know how to fully describe what that means. Like, it's just a very emotional thing. It's dealing with a lot of different issues. Now, while I highly recommend this book, I do not recommend this book at all if you have problems with religion being questioned, um, parents and their using religion as power being questioned. If those are problematic for you, just skip this one. If you don't want to hear somebody talking about their questionings of religion in the Catholic Church, then this is not a book for you. If you do not like to hear books about people talking about the um, inequality of rules and their application to young boys and young girls, again, this would not be a book for you. But I think this book overall is a book that would be totally worthwhile for like every teenager I can think of to read. Now, I think that there is a danger in that because books like that tend to become books that they think, ooh, these are good books for school. I do not think this would be a good book to have um, assigned in a classroom setting. Not because like I think it has content or things that shouldn't be discussed in a classroom because that's not it at all. It's more that I think that the topics that are discussed throughout the book are so personal to the main character and could be um, related to in such vulnerable ways by the students that I would really worry about doing this in a classroom setting that you would um, open people up to vulnerabilities that they might not want to have opened up, especially not publicly, especially not for a grade. So that that is interesting. It also makes me think of, there are several segments in the book where she will be writing class assignments. So it'd be like assignment, whatever. And the question would be like, I don't know, like something about what you learned or some powerful childhood memory. And so there will be this beautiful piece in the book that has so much emotion. You're like, dang, I can't believe that she was willing to be so like raw and what she turned into her teacher. And then the next chapter will be the same title, except it'll be like, blah, 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 what I turned in. And it'll be, I mean, it'll still be beautifully written, but the topic that is chosen is usually much more um, acceptable for turning into a teacher, which I just think is such an interesting way to look at things. And I think it's totally true of being even a halfway decent writer in high school. Like, you're not going to be truthful in the things that you write because there is zero incentive to be. All that can happen is uh, you can be ridiculed for it. So why, right? But the story is a in very interesting journey of a writer finding her voice and a poet finding like the power in the poetry 
and it's really, really good. So let's take a peek at my shawl because I know that's what a lot of you are here for. So this is again an audio book and each segment of my shawl has a different yarn. There's four types of yarn, one for each kind of book that I've kind of been planning to read. There's yarn for books with my kids, things for my life's library subscription, physical books and audio books that I experienced by myself. And this was an audio book by myself, which is made out of, the segment is some Lolo Did It yarn in the Lo original base. And this is a one of a kind color called Blarney Castle. As you can see at the beginning of March, most of the books I was experiencing were audio books because I was getting a lot of stuff done. And I was getting a lot of stuff done and a lot of just like hanging out with my family done while I had a headphone in my ear and I was experiencing a book because I was doing a lot of things where I only like half needed to be there and in fact I needed to keep myself half entertained otherwise that way I wouldn't get antsy. So a lot a lot of audio booking but I'm really happy with how it's turning out. Um, I did my usual pattern section that goes with the yarn and then a textured single crochet. crochet textured single crochet yeah it's a tongue twister y'all uh, a textured single crochet a textured single crochet section i can say it textured single crochet section of the five stars so there's five rows of that and i've also had a lot of really good books so far at the beginning of the shawl as you can see all of the striping is fairly broad which i think is having a nice look and i'm really looking forward to seeing how the rest of the shawl plays out and then how um, it all looks once it's done and it's blocked and it, it grows and the lace sections grow. I think it's gonna be really, really nice and I'm really enjoying the process. Both the process of the books I'm experiencing and the process of making this shawl. If you'd like to see the other books that I've talked about so far in Yarn Tales or if you wanna see what's coming up, make sure you subscribe down below because these don't come out on a regular schedule. They just kinda come out when I put them out so that's the best way to make them just pop into your sub feed. There's also a playlist here on the channel of all the chapters of Yarn Tales in case you've missed out and want to catch up on what I've been up to this year. I will see you all next time. Bye!